Hello everybody, it's Tori and welcome back to episode number five of the Dorm Debrief Podcast. Happy Monday, everybody. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about modern masculinity. And with this, you guys, we're gonna be specifically talking about what masculinity truly is and how the idea of masculinity has been so misconstrued in our generation still in 2024. Not only am I really, really excited to talk about this topic because I feel like, you know, I I have something to say from a woman's perspective, but also because I have asked some of the most amazing men in my life to share what masculinity means to them. Now, to start off with modern masculinity, the title of this episode is Modern Masculinity, and I titled it that for a reason. It's because I want to give um, light to what masculinity truly is, but not only that, I want to hint at what it's not. And that's why I said modern masculinity, because I strongly believe that our idea in our current society of what masculinity is, is far beyond what masculinity truly is. And so when we're talking about, you know, how people view masculinity these days, it's acting hard, it's acting rough and tough, it's having a whole bunch of bands in your pocket, right? It's being emotionally unavailable, having to suck things up. And I want to tell not only the men watching this, but for the women to be educated as well, that that is not what masculinity is. And so y'all, I wrote so many notes on this. I even wrote more notes than I did on the soft femininity episode, which is actually kind of crazy. So if you see me looking down at my computer, y'all, I'm really getting into it and I really have so much to say about this. So in order to kind of start off this topic, I want to um, kind of embark on what I was saying in the previous clip about how we view masculinity in today's world and talk about it in a perspective about relationships. So when it comes to relationships, and I'm at fault here as well, because I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect and that I know everything because I don't and I'm not. But in relationships today, oftentimes we see that women are seeking these hard, emotionally unavailable men and these kind of rough and tough men because that's all that they've been shown, right? And that's because men have felt like they have to uphold that certain image and they can't be fully vulnerable with women. And that kind of changes the whole relationships, dynamic of relationships these days. Now, in order to change the dynamic of these relationships these days, and in order for a woman in current modern day relationships to feel feminine with her man, with her significant other, means that the whole idea of modern masculinity has to be reconstructed. Last thing I'm gonna hint at before moving into today's topic is what the importance is of changing the dynamic in modern day relationships today and how that plays into masculinity and femininity. And the reason it is important is because if a man is not comfortable within his own masculinity, there is no space for a woman to feel comfortable in her femininity around that man. So you guys, now that I've introduced masculinity, it's time to talk about what masculinity truly is. And I wrote it down and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna go off rip because it's facts. Masculinity is the ability to provide, to protect, to lead, to have humility and to have strength. And I'm gonna be honest, me saying that might offend some of you guys because what true masculinity is, is completely different than what some of us have taught our sons, what some of us grew up being taught, what someone has told us, especially in 2024. And so you guys, going back to the last episode when we were talking about soft femininity, just like how it's a woman's nature to nurture it is a man's nature to provide and to protect. And I'm going to hint at a super, super key point here. You guys, all modern masculinity is, is a spin-off of what actual masculinity is without the emotion. We teach our men these days that they cannot be vulnerable in front of a woman, in front of another man. We teach our men that it's not okay to, to show yourself crying or to show that you're showing emotion. And like I was telling the girls in the other episode, you have to allow yourself to feel. I'm not only speaking to the woman when I say that, I'm speaking to the men as well. So when it comes to what we teach our boys and our men in modern society, in comparison to what you know we masculinity truly is, is that now we teach our men that humility is not a part of those five things that I mentioned. 
and we you know we have all of the other aspects we have you have to provide right you have to protect right um you have to lead right but we don't teach our men humility we don't teach our men humility in fact in place of humility we teach our men strength to be overly strong and you know we're always talking about yes I i'm not gonna lie to you guys women are more emotional that's just how we are by nature but one thing I really want to hint at, and I don't know if this episode is going to, like I said in the beginning, offend people. If it does, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you. Um, but there's a lot of things um, we're speaking biologically here. There's a lot of things that are just in our nature, like psychologically. And you know, like I said, in women, we're like naturally more emotional. Whereas men, they're naturally more practical. But that doesn't mean that men shouldn't have the opportunity to be emotional. And really, in the remainder of this episode, all we're really going to be talking about is humility. Because, at least in my opinion, without humility, all of those four other things, leading, protecting, providing, mean absolutely nothing. Because how can a man do all of those things without being able to check himself, right? And it's it's like the same concept about, you know, when you're having, you know, problems and someone's always coming to you complaining about something and you're going through a rough time, it's hard for you to deal with somebody else's stuff when you're not able to address and when you're going through, you know, something yourself. It's the same concept here. How can a man be able to make a woman feel fully feminine, provide for her, love her, lead her, right? If he is not able to feel those things for himself, if he is not in tune with his emotions, if he, you know, doesn't know what he wants and is still trying to figure himself out because society has told him that you have to do this and I guess, you know, I have to do this as a man and I can't feel during that process. I, you know, I'm speaking if I was a man. So when we're talking about these five qualities that a man possesses, right? We should not overshadow humility. And I want to engrave that. I'm going to literally keep repeating myself and keep regurgitating that in this episode. There is not strength without humility. And I feel like that's been said in some like, you know, history textbook somewhere, you know, and I don't know, something like that. Like that, that's kind of a common conception that we have. But we don't apply that to masculinity, to manhood. And we need to. How can we expect a man to be strong if he is not expected to show humility? Right, so when we're talking about, yes, the man has a job to provide, to lead, to protect, and to be strong, right? But that doesn't mean that he has to shut his emotions down in the process. And so guys, when we're talking about these five qualities a man should possess, right? We talked about the importance of humility, right? But yes, a man's nature and a man's job is to provide, to lead, and to protect, and to have strength, right? But he can't do any of those without humility. And I feel like at this point, you guys have gotten the gist. But right now, I want to talk to my men and tell you guys, especially men who are in college, I know y'all like to mess around and, you know, or either you don't and you like to be on your grind. That is what it is, right? But, you know, when we're talking about taking care of your masculinity, in the last episode, I gave tips to the girls to take care of their femininity, right? I am not a guy. I don't know what y'all do. Dang. <laughs> I don't know what y'all do, right? But, and I don't know if you guys were raised a certain way, if your moms taught you how to be what it means to actually be masculine and this and that, if your father was present. With all of that being said, the burdens that you carry, learn to emotionally deal with them. And I know, and I, I know, trust me, I know that society tells you that you have to suck it up and that you have to kind of keep it moving and keep it pushing. But in this case, y'all y'all know I say keep it moving and keep it pushing all the time. But in this case, I am not saying keep it moving and keep it pushing. There is some serious inner work that needs to be done in order for you guys to be able to heal yourselves and allow yourselves to be vulnerable in future situations. Don't go out and start messing with a girl when you know well you are not ready to be in any type of relationship or any type of situation with somebody because you are not comfortable in your masculinity. 
don't put that girl through a situation because not only are you putting that girl through a whole ordeal, you're putting yourself through a whole ordeal because now you're tying yourself in different ways and compensating for your lack of feeling and lack of vulnerability within your masculinity. So oftentimes, you guys, it's not all men, but I know that it is a habit, especially in manhood, that you guys like to do a lot, is you guys, because you were taught that you can't show emotion, that you can't be vulnerable, it has become a habit that you guys overshadow your emotions and take it into action, whether it's, you know, dealing with multiple women, you know, shutting down, becoming very quiet and nonchalant, a multitude of things, right? So when it comes to healing your masculinity, you have to put yourself in a place that you are in a healing environment. And you know, because I am a woman, you know, obviously I have the ability to speak about these topics and to speak about masculinity and what my thoughts are on it. But I also feel like, you know, the men watching this, you guys deserve what masculinity is from a man's standpoint. And this is a little bit different, but I actually did ask one of the most amazing uh, men in my life. He's actually one of my mentors. Um, what his thoughts on masculinity were. So to him, masculinity involves qualities like strength, resilience, and responsibility. As a man, it is crucial to embody these traits, not just for personal growth, but also to contribute positively to the well-being of those around me, fostering a supportive and balanced environment. So not only was that an amazing response, but I also want to kind of hint at the fact that he was talking about how his masculinity affects others. And not only does him being comfortable within his masculinity have a positive effect on women and able to make them feel feminine, but it has a positive effect of those men around him because those men can look at him and be like, yo, like I can actually feel vulnerable and feel like I am, you know, becoming a masculine figure because of you because you have set that example. So one of the last things that I want to leave you guys with is actually a Bible verse and specifically a Bible verse that deals with what masculinity truly is and how men should lead in a household. Now, I have mentioned in previous videos, and y'all already know, but this podcast is made for believers and non-believers, but even if you do not believe in biblical text or, you know, Christianity or whatever it is, that this is still something that I find of value, so I'm going to share it regardless. So the verse is from Epiphanes 5, 23 through 33, and it says, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by washing of the water with the word, so that he might present to the church to himself in splendor without the spot or wrinkle or any such thing that she might be holy and without blemish. Now, if I'm going to be honest, you guys, if me a year ago were to read that, I'd be like, oh, like, that's putting women, like, you know, below men, and that's putting men a superior over women. Um, but that's really not what it is. It's just kind of exemplifying what the role of men and women are in relationships. Men are supposed to lead and supposed to be the head of the household. That does not mean that they're supposed to abuse their wives and that their wives are beneath them but it shows that their masculinity plays a key role in relationships that they are supposed to lead to protect and to provide, like I mentioned earlier. And women, like I said, we're supposed to, you know, be nurturers. And how can we submit to a man that is not comfortable within his own masculinity? So that's really what this verse is talking about and kind of putting that into perspective. It's not talking about, you know, like in modern day relationships, how we cheat on each other and, you know, how we get with di different types of people. No, it says that we need to love each other equally. It says that a husband is supposed to love his wife the same way that Jesus loved the church. Now, I'm going to end this episode by saying that men, you are seen and that you are heard. Do not let modern society tell you that humility is a form of weakness because it is one of the best qualities that a man can possibly possess. Now, with this being said, I'm happy that you guys tuned in for today's episode. Hopefully, this was of value to you all, like always, and I will see you guys next Monday. Absolute legend. Always left, always so, I kind of want to win it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to win that. <laughs> I'm going to Anyways, so I kind of want to hint on the fact of what he said and say that masculinity and femininity <laughs> really have to put it down like that. I 
literally just gotta eat some peanut butter real quick. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Girl, get your <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs>